Welcome back friends. This is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. And today I wanted to share with you something that is truly amazing. So Mason has released ZBrush on the iPad Pro. What you're looking at right now, guys, this is ZBrush on the iPad Pro. And you've seen me do several videos about ZBrush, right? And I've labored to show that I am using a PC attached that is streaming, essentially streaming the screen to the iPad screen, right? But today, this is a native version of ZBrush on the iPad. So over here, you have uh, the, Z the different tools that you'll be able to create, and then I have these quick scalps. I've been fortunate to be part of the beta testing of this uh, new version of ZBrush, and it's, called, it's actually called Touchstone when, you, when I launched the app from the desktop of the my iPad Pro. And so these are the different scalps that I've been able to, this one is a Zizu project. This one was a straight up sculpting, same thing. These are all, all auto saves. But if you go to the home over here, right? And you go to uh, the a new sculpt. So here you have different starting models that you can work with, right? If you want to sculpt a head, for example, you can use that. If you want to start from like plan, like a kind of planner, okay, so head plans female, head plans male, or even just a uh, dynamesh, you can start with that, right? And under primitives, these are the th different primitives that are offered over here. Now this version is gonna get better. You know, new features are gonna be added, but it's amazing to be able to do sculpting on Z in ZBrush on the iPad Pro. And then over here, you have the Z spheres, which you're used to using in ZBrush. So you have the different animals. I love these as starting like foundation pieces. And then you can go wild with this. And you can pause these Z spheres <laughs> that make up the Z Zizu characters. So if you don't know where to start, I think this is a great place to start to make creatures. I love creature sculpting. All right, so let's go back to my sculpts in the quick saves. And let's load one of these so you can actually see well, for example, let's do this one. You just tap on it, and I'm using my iPad Pro, and mine is actually a 2015 model. But what I've had is that they're gonna be limiting the iPad versions that are being supported because you need, a, I mean, a really powerful like iPad Pro to be able to do that. So before, I had to use different programs to be able to actually do this. So it's amazing how I'm able to just skip, simply zoom in and out, pinch and zoom just like you would on a regular iPad. So if I pinch and zoom, I'm able to do that. And then over here, if you turn this off, it will give you, uh, if, you are, if you want to get back to the Zizu, you may have to convert it to a polymesh or not and cancel, stay in preview. But once you start up a Zizu, this is the pattern that you have to click on, right? And let me see if I can actually zoom in so you can see the button. So let's see over here. And let me move the iPad Pro. So that button right there is the one that you click on once you've loaded your Zizu project. And then it will put it into a preview mode, it's almost like pressing A on the keyboard. I'm not using a keyboard at all, right? So let me go back to my camera view over here. Let's take a quick look of uh, sculpting. So again, you can still use your Apple Pencil to be able to rotate like that, and then pinch and zoom. And then when you release one finger, you can rotate around like that, okay? So now I can start sculpting. So the brushes, again, are similar to how they are, they are in the main ZBrush application. So the, what I've learned is that they are planning to make sure this is a one-to-one -one ZBrush version from for compared to the PC version to the one on the iPad Pro, they're gonna be one to one. Currently, that's not the case. So as of the recording of this video, uh, it's about uh, September the 10th. And this is uh, the launch of ZBrush for the iPad Pro. And I think down the road, I think by the time you probably are watching this video in the future, way out in the future, more features are probably being added to this and it's one-to-one, -one, it's closer to the one that is in the, on the PC, okay? So these are the different brushes, right? And you can do 
Anka, they, they, have, they have actually organized them, like chisel, clay, clip, cloth, groom, hard surface. So this makes it much easier, you know, to be able to pick a brush and start working. You got knife, you got the masking, move, like, you know, when you need to do like a topological move, there's the paint, pattern, and then sculpture. So these are focused on really sculpting, you know? So, and you can still narrow down, like for example, if you want to look for dumb standard, I can just start, click on D, and dumb standard is gonna be one of those. I personally tend to use clay modeling a lot, so which I use is a clay builder, this one right here. So when you pick it, you just click away, and then you can start sculpting. Now you see how the brush is big like that? To change the brush size, you use three fingers like this, and then just pinch. So you can see the brush size there. You gotta be kind of precise. So once it's changed, now you can sculpt again, right? And I can also use my left hand. So pinch, you can see how the brushes are getting smaller, so if you want that, and then we can start sculpting. I want a little bit more, smaller than that, to add more detail, and then, over here, you have your symmetry and then the other different tools over on this other side. You can also change the matcap material over here. If you want to use the red one, for example, or the matcap, you just click on it and you're able to go through that. There's matcap gray, you got the matcap metal, like that. So whatever you know fits your sculpting need. I like using the basic one, this one to sculpt and then start sculpting away. And it's very responsive. And another thing is that uh, you can also, in the settings, you can you have the settings over here for the different brushes, the dynamics, the flow grid, the light, the material, the move, the picker. There's so many other things that you can access. So I want to do an in-depth tutorial, but today I just wanted to let you see how we're able to sculpt in ZBrush on the iPad Pro natively without the need for a pencil, or rather, <laughs> without the need for a PC, <laughs> not a pencil. So if you have a newer version of the iPad Pro, you're gonna have a much better experience because the better your chip and the amount of memory, and of course the, the latest hardware, you're gonna have a much different experience then. So this is a 2015 model, but you can see it's still working and I'm able to sculpt. And this is what's gonna be amazing, that if you go on the road, if you're on a plane, right, you're gonna be able to sculpt, you know, without having the, to depend on your PC or even a laptop. And that's what's really cool, you know? So again, guys, I can't say how much I'm excited. I can't, wait, how do you say it? I can't say enough <laughs> how exciting this is. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys make with it. This is an amazing day to finally have ZBrush on the iPad and being able to sculpt like that, you know, in the mirror is on. And if you want, because not every uh, model is gonna be symmetrical, so you can turn off symmetry, and then you can start adding the detail like that. And then over here, what I'd actually forgot to mention is to hold down the Alt key, instead of on the keyboard, hold down the Alt key, you press this button right here. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see it. So zoom in right here. So this, right here those buttons so this is the shift this is the alt and then this is the quick menu and over here so let me click on that if you hold down you hold it down you see a quick menu over there and it has dynamic oh i didn't know you could actually do both of them that's amazing <laughs> i i didn't know you could do that so you could mix and match and deal okay so that's it that's a quick menu and to, like if you wanted to do, instead of a Z uh, add, and you want to do Z subtract, you hold down the Alt, and then you're able to subtract instead of add, right? And if you wanted to smooth, you hold down the, this button right here, and you're able to smooth the model like there, and then continue adding details as you go, like that. So just continue building up on that, and then, this one is gonna be the masking. So if you need to mask an area, 
like that, right? And then continue sculpting around it. This is so, <laughs> this is amazing, right? It's truly amazing, guys. So let's rotate a little bit. So now you're making like a mouth for this uh, spider. Just keep continue building on that. Like that. And then when you're ready, you just hold down the mask again, drag, and then get rid of the mask, just like that, right? And then just continue sculpting away. So right now it's not symmetrical, so be careful. Make sure you enable symmetry over here and then continue sculpting. But you see how now it doesn't match. So just be careful that you only enable the symmetry before you get to the fine detailing. So it's up to you, you know, sculpt as much as you want, but just be careful. But this is awesome, guys. I've been waiting for this day to be able to use my iPad Pro to sculpt, uh, and now it's here. <laughs> Let me go back, switch back to that, and let's zoom out so you can see. Uh, this is amazing. Make sure, man, thank you so much, guys, for the opportunity to play with this. And so to actually use this, to get this, you're going to need a Mixon account. So you can't just install it. If you, want, if you want to get a license, there's going to be a free version, a light version of a ZBrush for iPad Pro that doesn't have the same features. So you won't be able to, for example, export certain things like file formats. And they, it will be limited. But when you get a license, you'll be able to then add, like take advantage of all the amazing like detail, like uh, features, the full feature of, of ZBrush. This is so cool. I love sculpting creatures and this is gonna be amazing. Continue doing that. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I I've, you know, sometimes I'm kind of hampered to do like ZBrush sculpting because I'm often on a different machine, but to be able to just grab my iPad, or like even when I'm watching a game, like a golf game or a basketball game, I could sculpt something real quick. You know, uh, it's amazing. So, so amazing to be able to do this natively on the iPad. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I just wanted to introduce to you ZBrush for iPad, what we've been waiting for all these years, guys. It's finally, finally here. And we're able to, let me see. I want to increase the brush size, three fingers increase, and then do more general form sculpting. So thank you for joining me today, guys. Much love to each and every one of you. Thank you so much to all my patrons for your support. I truly appre I appreciate every little bit of support that you give me and for the comments and the feedback and for sharing my videos. As always, guys, dare to dream big. Never give up on your dream. May we always continue to use these tools to tell our stories and to convincingly, <laughs> to create stories that are convincing, but also that bring to life like the ideas that are in our brains. And I think ZBrush is one of those tools that you can use to, like if you have an idea for a short film, it's very easy for you to start sculpting the concept. And then you know, if you have a team, if you have working with a, a Z, like a modeler, then you can definitely start putting it to bring it to life, textured in full realization. For me, this is amazing. I'm able to do <laughs> Oh, this is fun. This is so much fun, guys. All right. Thank you, guys. See you in the next video. I'm going to be doing more videos of our ZBrush on the iPad. I, I, I've been waiting for this, and today is the day. Thank you for the support again. Much love. I'm always, always praying for you. Bye for now.